Yamamoto chatters in Japanese at Warren Bockwinkel. Unfortunately, we left our translator behind, and we uh, can't tell you what he said. Yamamoto scoots away from a possible body lift and uh, indicates he's a pretty smart boy. So a tag. The champ wants to come in. He has a plan. Let's see if he is a man with a plan. Now we're going to be buddies. Everybody likes everybody here tonight. Just wrestling, he says. Nothing else. So they chin lock each other. Four minutes remaining. Four minutes left to go in this third round. That's the shoulder that Bockwinkle hurt, I believe. And the champ knows it. And that is, of course, why the champ is picked on that particular shoulder. Bockwinkle complaining. The champ wants to drop in with a knee. Wants to do anything he can to soften up that shoulder. First submission has been put in by one of the two referees, Pete Marringer, kneeling there. No submission yet, though Bonkwinkle is in a great deal of pain as the champ punishes that shoulder of his. Still tender from an injury. Bonkwinkle got up, couldn't stay up. This is the third round with about two minutes left to go. A fall apiece. Each team got a fall in the first two rounds. And of course, either one that gets the fall now ends the match right then and there. But if there is no fall in this third round, we'll wrestle the fourth and final round, or at least part of it, until there is a fall. Champ still trying to work on that shoulder, but Bachwinkle has got himself out of trouble, and look at him feel that champ across the ring. Goes Bockwinkle, drops a knee in there, drives knees into the back. He's after that match right here and now, trying to get our main event. The champ wants to tag. Mr. Moto stays away from him. Now does. Finally takes the tag, but he was reluctant to do it. So Mr. Moto comes in to take over as the champ stays in there, and they finally take him out. Freddie Blassie walks in, and uh, no, he won't be allowed to stay, I don't think. Got one punch in there, and then was chased out by the officials. And Mr. Moto... Works on Bockwinkle. Rabbit punches. Bockwinkle tags Blassie. He's been saved from trouble. And here comes Blassie in to take over with his own. Well, Bockwinkle couldn't resist the temptation to get one punch in there. Look out. Freddie Blassie drew back a big foot there. Mr. Moto didn't like that a bit. Time running out here in the third round. Top wrist lock. Top wrist lock by Mr. Moto on Freddie Blassie. Freddie Blassie trying to shake himself out of trouble here with a few punches. He's going off balance and down. And there he goes. Tooting on the back of his head once again. Comes in and uh, gives Mr. Moto a surprise. Look out. Mr. Moto's pork judo cuts to the throat are a little bit too much for Freddie Blassie. Rabbit punches. All legal maneuvers. Mr. Moto grabbed hair there for an instant, and the referees leaped in to remind him, you just don't do that. Mr. Moto's putting on his famous sleeper hold. Let's see if Freddie Blassie can take it or not. Mr. Moto's sleeper hold is working, and Freddie Blassie is trying to fight himself out of this. This is a hold, of course, that produces a brief period of unconsciousness if applied long enough. And Mr. Moto isn't able to make it work. Especially after that and that. And Mr. Moto, trying to stagger over to the champ, couldn't even make it there. With the beal, he goes across the ring. Freddie Blassie again sends him back the other way. And drives one in the midsection. Down goes Mr. Moto. One, two... The champ rushed in, but Mr. Moto had rolled up onto one shoulder. He's topside now, and he's putting on his sleeper hold on Freddie Blassie. But they say it is a chokehold this time. 
The hand across the throat. Mr. Motors had enough. Sent in the reinforcements. Here comes the champ. Joe Pazentek back in the ring now against Freddie Blassie. Two minutes exactly remaining. Freddie Blassie's working on the champ's back. He was shouting to the ringsiders, you know, that his back wasn't hurt, but I think it is. Off balance. Freddie Blassie reluctant to let go while he's got the champ at a disadvantage here. He can drive that back into those turnbuckles. Well, the champ had an idea, too, and he is trying to work using the heel of the hand. Freddie Blassie's in trouble, and over there is Mr. Moto. Do a little something else as Warren Bockwinkle would like to come over and help if he needs to. There's been a tag. Mr. Moto is in now, replacing the champ. But since Freddie Blassie's off balance in the corner, Mr. Moto will have to give him a chance to move out into the ring. A go behind and a Paul Nelson. Look at that. And a tag for Warren Bockwinkle to come in. Four arm smashes. Two of them. Mr. Moto is really shaken up. Here we go again. A tag, Freddie Blassie. We might get a, Mr. Moto can't find him and a tackle drops him. Another one. As he snaps him to the mare. Look at that hatchet cut across the throat. Mr. Moto on top for one, two, and three. And our main event has come to an end. Mr. Moto with that chop across the throat. Dropped Freddie Blassie when it looked like things were going his own way. And instead, the third and deciding fall goes to Mr. Moto and the champ, Joe Pazendak. So a little excitement, a little tension here in the ring. Jules Strom over trying to calm the boys down. And we'll get the official announcement now. One moment, please. In the time of 10 minutes, 6 seconds of the third round, taking the third fall and the winners of the match, Joe Pazendak and Mr. Moto. Well, there it is. Plenty of action here tonight as we come to the end of the main event. But you'll always find action galore when you watch live wrestlers from the American Legion Stadium in Hollywood. Well, now, uh, let's head just one week from tonight when we're going to have the World Series of Wrestling. Of course, our television network audience out there is going to join us for the climax of that. That should be something tremendous, too, should it not, Jules? Well, I'll tell you, it is really a wonderful thing, this World Series that we're putting on here at the American Legion Stadium. And uh, it is probably going to be the greatest night of wrestling ever held on the West Coast. Now, right at this time, we're not just exactly sure who our main event's going to be, but we can say that you're going to see men like Lord James Blears, Lord Layton, Shandor Zabo, and the class of wrestler. Yes, sir. Not to, uh, not to forget men like uh, Bachwinkle, Balassi, and... Uh, uh, Joe Pazendak, Mr. Moto, you throw all those fellows in, anybody you come up with, you're going to end up with a main event in every bout. You're right, Jules. You know, I was thinking it'd be a great night for the folk to, uh, to get together a, a party of friends and uh, just have a real get-together around the television set that night because it'll be something to see, I'm sure. That's right, Bill. And uh, what the taste of wrestling that they received tonight in this tag team match which, in my estimation, was a fast, furious match. Yes, indeed. I know that uh, uh, my pulling for uh, a certain two fellows didn't seem to help as much <laughs> as it should, uh, but at the same time, I have to admit that I sat there holding the side of my seat for every second of it. It was a great one. Thank you, Jules, and uh, I'll see you here then to, in one week when we get together at the Hollywood Legion Stadium. Friends, in our lifetime, we've seen tremendous advances made in every branch of medical science. When the doctor operates, we sleep soundly and feel no pain. With many diseases, an injection of serum may save our lives. No wonder we look to medical science for help regardless of our problems. And now, many who suffer emotional upsets and nervous tension may find relief with Pasitabs, P-A-S-I-T-A-B-S. Pasitabs have a tranquilizer action and are an aid to relieve excitability. You've read and heard about tranquilizer pills, often called tension or happy pills. 
One recent article stated doctors were writing prescriptions for happy pills at the rate of one each second. Facitab's tablets, even though they have a tranquilizer action, can be purchased without a prescription. So if you suffer emotional upsets and nervous tension or endure functional nervous anxiety, calm down with Facitab's. Pacitabs are now available at all drugstores without a prescription. That's Pacitabs to help pacify you. Wow, folks, what a tag team match. Yes, sir. Mr. Moto and Joe Posendock, the winners over Freddie Balassi and Warren Bockwinkle. Well, I'll tell you, St. Louis has produced a lot of great wrestlers. And then Freddie Balassi and Warren Bockwinkle, they certainly have brought out a couple of good boys. But they were up against a couple of good boys tonight in Mr. Moto and Joe Posendock. Mr. Moto, one of the largest and most feared wrestlers to ever come out of Japan, both as catch as catch can, jiu-jitsu and judo. And uh, along with him, you team up Joe Posendock, the pride of all Minnesota, one of the greatest amateurs from back there, and now claiming to be one of the greatest professionals to ever come out of Minnesota. You certainly have a hard, tough combination to beat. In this case tonight, it was Freddie Balassi and Warren Bockwinkle putting a little bit of uh, youth, but a lot less weight on the line against two big, rough, tough boys. I think that probably Joe Posendock uh, has made as large a name for himself as any wrestler to come out of uh, Minnesota since Bronco Nagurski. He went to the same school as a Bronco. He represented Minnesota and the National Intercollegiates, and he did quite a bit of amateur wrestling after finishing college, but it was professional wrestling for him. So he turned professional, and along with the other great wrestlers out of Minnesota there, he has certainly made a name for himself. His condition is always perfect. He's a short, roly-poly type of a wrestler, but when it comes to condition, Joe is really a fanatic because he trains religiously and diligently every day. Mr. Moto, Mr. Moto, well, he combines the cunning of the Orient along with his catch his catch can wrestling. He used the sleeper hold, the jujitsu holds, the muscles, and so forth. And along with his knowledge of catch his catch can, you combine this cunning of the Orient, and you have a man to reckon with. Put them both together, Joe Posendock, Mr. Moto. You have a real tough combination, so it wasn't too great a surprise to a lot of the fans here tonight at the Hollywood Legion Stadium that it was Mr. Moto and Joe Posendock, the winner of our tag team match tonight from the Hollywood Legion Stadium. Well, you witnessed a lot of action tonight, but it's just about time for us to close. Before we close, I'd like to say how much we've enjoyed you tuning in with us tonight, and we hope that we'll be seeing you again next week. Don't forget it. It's championship wrestling, and it's always from the Hollywood Legion Stadium. Now, before a final word from Miss Taffon or Miss Paula Kent, I'd like to say that until we do meet again here next week, may the good Lord bless and keep each and every one of you until we meet again. Well, we've come to the close of more thrilling wrestling action from Hollywood Legion Stadium. And before we part, I'd like to say that it's all made possible for your enjoyment by TAFON, T-A-F-O-N, America's number one reducing aid. You know, out here in Hollywood, among starlets and stars, among men and women who must keep their figures trim and attractive, you hear them say, TAFON is just what the doctor ordered. So if you're overweight, start losing your extra pounds the safe, sane, enjoyable tap on way. Yes, on days when you seem drawn as tight as a bowstring, relax, calm down with Pacitabs. When you're so wrought up that a telephone's ringing makes you jump, or when just one more cowboy yell from the youngsters makes you want to get away from it all, get Pacitabs. P A S I T A B S. The new tablets with the tranquilizer action to pacify you. And friends, here's the big news. Pacitabs are available without a prescription. Pacitabs, the tablets with the tranquilizing action, are available to everyone without a prescription. So if you are a victim of nervous anxiety or tension states or suffer emotional upsets, get Pacitabs, P-A-S-I-T-A-B-S, for that wonderful feeling of calmness. Pacitabs, 
available now at all drugstores without a prescription.